Welcome to another episode with your Firefly Realty, your DFW resource. My name is Sal. Today, I'm excited to bring you guys March 2023 Dallas market update. And the reason I'm excited uh, to bring this to you is because so much has happened uh, in my business recently that I want to share with you guys. Get some numbers out there for you of what's happening in the Metroplex. If you're looking to move to the Dallas-Fort Worth area, these are the numbers you're going to be wanting. Uh, take them to the If you have a realtor, take these numbers to the real, your realtor that you're working with. They don't know them. They should know them. Um, but other than that, there's a lot of things happening right now in the Dallas forward Metroplex that it's just, it, it's, it's like, it's kind of like its own bubble in the U S it's kind of weird to say, and it's hard for realtors to convey that when you come here, because it's, you, you hear doom and gloom in so many other parts of the country. And then here you're like, man, real estate's not bad. And so I, I mean, maybe that's why everyone's moving here. Everyone's moving to Texas. It's a great place to live. I love Texas. I'm a native Texan. I was born in San Antonio. Not a bad city, just not my type of city now. Now that I'm an adult, moved to Austin when I was young. That's an okay city, eh, kind of. And then moved to Dallas where I'm a big city boy. I love lots of things to do. Uh, still after three and a half years, still haven't really figured out everything that there is to do in the Metroplex, which is growing. Believe it or not, there is a, uh, there was an article that was released. I should have just posted it like right here, like a little picture that I usually do. And it said that that by 2030, that it sh uh, the Metroplex should pass the Chicago metro area in population, which is ridiculous. I think Metro for Chicago is like 13 million. Right now we're almost uh, like eight and a half million here in the DFW area. So, but once you come here, you'll understand that there's so much land so much open area to to build on here in the metroplex it's it's uh it's crazy and, and you know you'll be hard pressed to find a um, a place to live if you haven't done your own research or study um here in the metroplex because you're gonna find a if you do find a place randomly you're gonna be like man that's too much traffic there or if you pick another place you're like man that's too expensive when really you should just reach out to me or another realtor, I really don't care if you use me or not. And uh, at least get some information, be, get a resource, get a person, get a, number one, get a realtor that you can vibe with, right? Get someone that you can like, you know, be personable with. Don't get some machine realtor that's just out there just to make a sell. That's disgusting. I hate salesy people. I hate salesy realtors. Um, like I said, I'm a firefighter full-time. I already have a paycheck coming in. I have fun doing real estate. I love making these videos. They might not get a lot of views. I really don't care. I like making these videos because I share them with my clients uh, whenever they want to know what's going on in the um, in the market. So today, sorry, just keep babbling, right? So I've had this nitro drink. I'm not gonna tell you which company, but everybody knows. So I had this nitro drink. It's um, it's pretty. Uh, it's, it's good. It's good. So let's get on with what is going on in the Metroplex. Uh, let's go on with, with like kind of like macro. Eh, it's really not macroeconomics. Uh, I'm not gonna get all economic on you, but uh, the Fed did raise the interest rates by 0.25 yesterday. And um, that was, it, what people don't, what I want you guys to understand, I'm not a financial advisor, but those that interest rate does not directly affect 30 year mortgages. It affects uh, more so like uh, variable rates, uh, uh, mortgages, and um, like adjustable rate mortgages. Sorry, uh, my brain kind of uh, wants everything wants to come out at the same time. And credit cards. So those are the ones that kind of it kind of indirectly affects mortgages. If you want to have a conversation about that, I'd love to. Uh, all my information is down below. So with that, yes they did increase the rates the market liked it didn't like it um you got to understand like the fed wants the inflation rate to be two percent right now i think it's the cpi index came out a couple days ago and it was like six something or whatever whatever it was it wasn't two percent i now i just made a totally forgot i memorized this totally forgot it and it was at six something and now it's like at two percent that's they want it to go lower and that's we got a long way to go they got a lot more interest rate to put in uh until we get to two percent so a lot more hurt to come guys uh this isn't by me but that's by them if they say more hurts to come then it's 
it's coming, right? Um, but that that's uh, some of the things that I want to tell you guys about. Also, um, another thing I wanted to share with you guys that's been in my heart is uh, my next door neighbor actually, maybe I'll make another video about this, but my next door neighbor wanted to sell his home and he couldn't, uh, I live in uh, the West Dallas area, which is it's like an up and coming area, but there's like patches of like houses that people sadly can't afford their taxes and they're, you know, being moved out, which I'm feeling kind of weird about. I don't kind of like it, but you know, I, I guess everything has its little uh, revolving door kind of thing in life. And uh, some guy came to his door wanting to sell, wanted to buy his house for half the price of um, what it actually goes on the market for. And he almost signed the paperwork. And all I gotta say is he didn't trust, my, my neighbor at the time didn't trust realtors and he didn't wanna work with a realtor. He thought he could do everything himself. And you know, I went over there and I talked to him and was, he never really came out of his house, never really had a, a relationship with him. And we started talking and I said, you know, his mom, that was his mom's house. And I told him, I was like, hey, you just had a long conversation about creating a, a good relationship with the realtor is very important. And this is kind of what I want to relate to you guys is that have someone that you can work with and trust. And that is so important. Don't just trust your biggest investment, your biggest purchase, probably most likely in your life, a house. Um, or just anybody that you don't like or you don't vibe with or someone that's not a good person or you don't feel comfortable with buying with, you know, or won't go to bat for you. That's, you know, I might not work for you, but somebody else might work for you perfectly. And that is totally fine. Not everyone deserves, or I'm sorry, everyone deserves to have that opportunity to work with somebody that's that's good for them so there's a lot of realtors out there so don't settle don't definitely don't settle i always hate settling don't don't do that um another thing i wanted to share with you guys is the numbers of what's going on here in the dfw area I have these numbers right here i wrote them all down um they're, they're it goes without saying that lots of stuff is happening in the metroplex and it's kind of weird to say like, oh man, Dallas is having better numbers than Denton. And how could it, how could it be like that they have such different numbers and they just do. The numbers come out every month. The housing market stats come out every month and we're able to just kind of look at it and be like that, how, how do they, how are they so different? Let me, let me give you uh, an example. So the DFW Metroplex, the closed sales in the DFW Metroplex is down 0.8%. The days on the market is 96 days. The month's worth of inventory, now get this, is 2.0. That's about what it was last month. A good buyer's market is somewhere in between um, uh, or over nine months. An intermediate market is like six to nine months and a good seller's market is anywhere under six months. We're still like really strong in a seller's market right now. Uh, I'm helping a couple right uh, as of right now, actually today I'm trying to figure out some things for them, but they're buying a brand new home, a brand new build, and there's just no inventory. They're, they're not releasing it because they're, I don't know. There's just, there's not a lot of inventory. In fact, I'm gonna put a little article right here. There's not a lot of inventory in the market right now. Uh, this article just came out, but uh, it's, it's nuts. Uh, Dallas, closed sales are down 18% days on the market. Now, close down, close 18% from this time last year. Okay, last year, uh, February of 2023. These are all February numbers because February numbers come out in March. Days on the market, 78. Months worth of supply, 1.7 days in Dallas. That means, so months worth of supply, if you think about it, or if you kind of explain to you, is the amount of months you have to sell everything on inventory if nothing came else uh, else came on the inventory so it would take 1.7 months to sell all that uh, and dallas this is dallas county dallas county has like university park highland park irving um those cities there uh collin county which consists of man collin county has mckinney 
Frisco, Plano, and you've probably heard of Frisco lately because of where Universal uh, Studios is gonna be putting their park for kids. Um, Plano, Frisco, Prosper. Close sales are up 22% from this time last year. I have to reread that real quick. It, it does say up 22%, so that's nuts, right? Dallas County this time last year was down is down 18%. Collin County's close sales up 22%. And the month's worth of inventory is 1.6. That's strong seller's market. That means people are buying. Uh, days on the market, 103, which is kind of weird. Like, it's total days on the market. So it's not just days on the market and, and up, up to close. Tarrant County are cities like the Mid-Cities, like uh, Haltom City, and our uh, Northwestern Hills, Watauga, uh, South Lake, Fort Worth, all those cities. Close sales are down 6.4%. Months worth of inventory, 1.7. Days on the market, 91. So these are just some basic numbers to go out there for you guys. So you guys can know what's going on in the DFW area. Guys, I cannot say this enough is when you come to the DFW Metroplex, you will need someone to help you get around and actually know this area and understand what's where, where to live would be like the best situation for your, uh, probably your financial, um, uh, your financial state for what house you can buy. So if you need any help, please reach out. Love to help you. Um, thank you for considering me. So thanks for watching guys. All right, see you guys later. Till next time, peace.